Hello, children of God. What are some things that make you happy? Can you think of any? Perhaps it's a favorite toy or stuffed animal that you like to play with and snuggle with or has special memories or maybe a favorite candy. I do always love some good candy or maybe a good book makes you happy. Do you have a favorite story that just really makes you happy when you read it or has a really happy ending that you like? Or maybe you're like me and you get happy with ice cream, like a good drumstick cone maybe. I don't know what is happening to my drumstick. This is a, yeah, that's not the picture of happiness. I'm not so happy about that. Hmm. Well, here's another question. What makes you joyful? It's not the same thing. In fact, what does that mean? What is joy? Well, I'm glad you asked. See, while happiness has to do with circumstances, joy is deeper. It's greater and richer and more. You can be happy for a little while, but it doesn't really last. Happiness will eventually kind of fade away. You know, if you lose that favorite toy or if the book is over or when the candy runs out or when the ice cream gets freezer burn or melts, those things just don't last. But Joy comes not from the outside, but from the inside, from something, someone, that we have in our hearts. Jesus tells us that he has come to give us complete joy. Not just happiness, but joy. Jesus loves us. In the Bible, he reminded his disciples that he calls them, calls us, his friends, and that he gave his life for ours. He laid down his life for his friends and loves us that much, and that he has come to give us that rich, lasting joy. It comes from a certain sense of peace, knowing that God loves us, that he's with us, that he protects us and guides us. That's what gives us joy. And from the inside out, it works so that others can have that joy as well. Jesus gave us his love and asks us, commands us in fact, to share his love with others, to give others love too. There's a fun way I like to remember this. It goes like this. The recipe for joy is to put Jesus first, remember, that first is Jesus, to put others next, and to put yourself last. J-O-Y. Jesus, others, yourself. It doesn't mean you never think of you, but don't put your needs and wants and wishes first. Put Jesus first. Remember his love. Then put the wants and needs of others. After that, remember to show them love as well and then think of you. That's the way to have joy. Joy from the inside because Jesus is on the inside. Now, it's not always that easy. Sometimes it's hard. It's hard to have joy in a circumstance that's not so great. It's hard to have joy when there's pain, but it's possible. The Bible reminds us of a lot of stories of people who went through really tough things and still had a sense of joy because joy is more than just what's on the outside. It's more than just happiness. Joy is in Jesus. He is always present with us. When we remember that, when we know that, we take comfort in it. We know that he is the source of all wonderful things. We know that he loves us and that even if things are a little sad, 
we can still have his peace. We can still have his joy. Even when the ice cream melts, God is still good. So we can pray for it. We read his word. We surround ourselves with others who know him. And we ask God for that deep joy. Why don't we do that right now with a prayer? Dear God, thank you for giving us your joy. Help us to take comfort from you and know that joy is from the inside. Help us to show your love to others. Be with us and guide us. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. So, go forth joyfully, make a joyful noise, and go make some disciples. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.